to make a vegan Caesar dressing. And I've not um, grabbed that. So well, I haven't either. So we're gonna we're gonna try we're gonna it. Try it out today because, um, and before we get started, we are gonna actually use this in a Caesar uh, uh, salad that we're gonna drop off for one of our new segments that yeah. we're so excited. So we came up with a little, about it. little fun game. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be called a Ding Dong Dinner. And we kind of mocked it after a game that our, our kids play in the neighborhood, which is not a popular game by any means, <laughs> where they go around the neighborhood and they ring somebody's doorbell and they run, and then you know you get up from what you're doing and you go and you answer the door, nobody's there, you get pissed off, <laughs> you go sit back down and they do it again, and then I mean know, my kids don't do that. Do yours? No, my kids oh, don't. Okay. Do yeah. Um, so I thought, how fun would it be to do that and drop off a healthy meal? Um, I mean, who would not want a healthy meal left at their doorstep? I mean, doorstep. For free. Yeah, for free. Yeah. So um, so this is part of our ding-dong dinner um, meal that we're preparing. Mm -hmm. yep. So um, along with the paleo sticky chicken fingers. Say that. Delicious. Uh, and then we're going to have a, uh, a creamy vegan um, Alfredo, which is really good. I keep oh. saying vegan and I don't want that to scare me. Don't let it throw you. It's you would never know. We did a segment on that already, but it is like so rich and creamy. And then we're doing a plant based brownie, which again, I would love anyone side by side to have it and really even better tell the difference. I mean I, I they're so darn good. I don't know why you'd make it any other way. Absolutely. Yeah. And then we're gonna do a Caesar salad because I don't know. I love Caesar salads. It's I don't eat them all the time, and then anytime we're out and there's a, like a you know a course meal that we're doing, and they'll put a Caesar salad in front of me. I'm like, oh, this is really good. I well, it's it. all about the croutons and the dressing, really. I mean, that, the Caesar. Let's just face it, it's romaine right. lettuce, a little bit of shredded parm. So we just whipped up these delicious croutons. So we got a French baguette at Trader Joe's. And we just seasoned it with a little olive oil, salt and pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. Mm -hmm. And then these were in the oven at 350 for almost 30 minutes. We, you know, you want them crispy, nice and crispy. You want them hard because croutons are not supposed to be mm -hmm. soggy. So this is a, a huge part, and then of course this dressing. Yeah. So let's let's get on it here. Um, so the first thing that we need to do, actually, it's kind of easy. Everything is going to go into my little um, Cuisinart little chopper here. Fancy. And so I'll just kind of rattle off. Yep, tell me the what first, to do. The first thing that we're going to do um, is drain the, so it calls for a half a cup of cashews soaked in water um, overnight um, so they become kind of soft. I'm glad you remembered to do that last night. Well, I'm not going to lie to this morning. Oh, so. well, okay. So ours are only soaked for a few hours. Six hours. That's okay. That's some people's night. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of drain these a little bit. I never, so I'm really, I'm really famous for kind of tweaking recipes to meet my convenience. Like if there's an ingredient I don't have, I typically leave it out or substitute it, or yeah. if I don't have time for something, yeah, I do yeah, that. Well, that's that's what I we do, do. It often. So once again, um, soaked in water, they become really soft. I mean, they're like, oh yeah, rubbery or slimy. Yeah, um, and I I get all of my um, nuts at Trader Joe's, and these are raw, so they're not salted, they're not roasted, they're just out of the shell yep. in the bag. And I just think Trader Joe's has the best prices on that kind of thing, and they've got every every kind you need, too, which is nice, because um, sometimes if I just, if I need nuts, that's where I'm going to go. Nuts. Nuts. Um, okay, and then we need a third a cup of lemon juice. All right, so I already took the time to get that lemon juice ready. And basically, you've probably seen this handy dandy thing. I think we got that at William Sonoma. Is that where you got it? I did. But you just you know cut your lemons in half and just squeeze it through and you get your fresh lemon juice. Super easy and, and delicious. Then we need a third cup of water. Okay, well, let's see. Do we have a third cup of water? Let me get that for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a third cup of water. Um, and coming then right up, coming <laughs> right up. Third cup of water, coming in hot. Coming okay. in hot, there you go. And then we have three tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. And then let's do a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Okay. Actually, let's do actually let's do the capers first because okay. we need a, a teaspoon of capers with brine. Okay. All right. I so always have a big jar of capers. Yeah. I add them to a lot of things: pasta, um, chicken piccata. Um, okay. Anytime you want a little salty kind of pop, salads. And then we've got our teaspoon of that. 
whatever, mustard, Jean. Mm -hmm. And then I finely minced up a clove of um, garlic. So we're gonna add that, okay? Okay. And then we need a quarter teaspoon of sea salt, okay? And then some black pepper to taste. So however much you think. All right, I'll do like an eight. How about that? Seems like most recipes, whatever they call for salt, it's half that of pepper. Do you notice that? I don't know why. I did start the video, right? I don't know. Go check. Make sure we're actually videoing this segment. Otherwise, we'll be making a lot of, are we good? We would have double the amount of vegan Caesar dressing, which I guess means we get salad tonight. <laughs> Sorry. I can't remember what oh, I did that's yesterday, okay. five that's minutes okay. ago. Oh, good. We're good. Okay. Okay, so then you're just going to pop this all our ingredients. It's very loud. consistency. I don't know that you would need. No, I don't think so. Let's see here. Any more water? No. Is that a good consistency? I think it needs to be chopped a little bit more. Chopped a little bit more? You want it, you want it creamy. I'm going to get spoons because we're going to have to try this since we've never tried it. Some spoons. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, I remember to say. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Subscribe. 